hello now we discuss PID control design using root locus now here plant is given as GP of s is 1 divided by s plus 1 and times s plus 4 so we consider a unity feedback so this is the PID controller where we have a P is represented by gain k1 i part is k2 divided by s and d part is k3s so we have a design specification that we need zero steady state error for step input so this means that for this particular specification we need pi control overshoot so this is the transient response that overshoot is less than 1.5 percent settling time that is 0.5 so the second two last two specification is related to pd control so this means that we have to design a pid control so before design we just do a bit manipulation mathematically so that our design is easy to implement so here what we did actually i take k3 common from this um, control mm, dynamic so it becomes k3 dot by s it becomes s square plus k1 dot by 3s plus k2 so now I just rewrite into two forms one is for PI and other is for PD so for PI part uh, I wrote at S plus Z PI divided by S and for PD I wrote at KC as a gain and S plus PD so now I will design controller using this formulation this last one okay now now I use this specification and to write the uh, and uh, desired closed loop poles now if I move to next now for solution first part that we normally do in design that we represent MP that is our shooting to terms of zeta using this formula that is log n square MP to over pi square plus log square MP it becomes 0.8 similarly for settling time we calculate um, sigma D that is 8 then we calculate omega d using this formula that sigma d 10 cos inverse of zeta it becomes 6 so desired closed loop poles become minus sigma plus minus j omega d now if i plug in the values it becomes minus 8 plus minus 6 j now desired point i choose is p is equal to minus 8 plus 6 j now um, before going further i just wrote the characteristic equation so characteristic equation become one plus gc of s p of s equal to zero so because the root locus is basically using this characteristic equation to represent the root uh, locus of the roots and we will use this equation to calculate the calculate the root locus and design the controller so what we did here i put one plus kc this is the pd part then pi part and with the dynamics so equal to zero now after doing this we we start designing in using uh, two basic parts normally in root locus we have a magnitude and a phase so now consider the angle criteria that we use in um, root locus what is angle criteria angle criteria means that uh, we have gc of s gp of s uh, angle must be equal to minus 180 degrees so we use this criteria so based on that criteria if i just represent my okay my root locus here so uh, we have uh, one pole at uh, minus one other is at minus four now we have a desired uh, location that is point this that is at minus eight okay now we have to design a controller for example i have to put uh, a pole here for pi then i have to put some zero near to it and some zero here so this is that pd okay i have to calculate the values so this is that uh, pi okay so now uh, how we proceed further what we do we have to write straight line from this point on these poles and zero so let me 
change the this one that one that one that one and that one so for example if i call it as a fi off uh, sorry fi off let me change the marker here this is fi off p of pi and this angle is phi of z of pi this angle is phi 1 this angle is phi 2 and that is phi of z pd so this is um, this is uh, what we have now we just uh, write the equation here so equation is that minus phi let me uh, so this is minus phi 1 minus phi 2 these are the poles then we have plus phi z pd and then we have plus phi z pi and then we have minus phi p of pi is equal to minus 180 degree. so this is the equation so we have to use this equation to calculate it so here we, we know that what is the value of phi 1 phi 2 and also we calculate p of p 1 so now first of all write the equation for phi 1 phi 1 is equal to if i uh, do calculation using triangle so phi 1 is actually equal to 180 degree minus 10 inverse inverse of 6 divided by 8 minus 1 so it becomes uh, 139 degree now similarly phi 2 if I do calculate is 180 degree minus 10 inverse 6 divided by 8 minus 4 because it is at 4 so it becomes uh, 124 degree now similarly if i move to phi of p p i that becomes um, 180 degree again minus consider this one and this is the triangle so it becomes 10 inverse of uh, 6 divided by 8 minus 0 so this is equal to 143 now this is what we calculate now using this uh, formulation so we have to calculate uh, phi of z pd and angle of phi of z pi that we don't know is equal to if we apply the formula and plug in the values it become 180 degree plus phi 1 plus phi 2 okay similarly plus phi of p of p i so it becomes minus 180 degree and just plug the values plus 139 degree plus 124 degree and plus 143 degree so when after solving this so z of p d plus phi of z of p i is equal to 226 degree so this is the angle we need to make of these two now we uh, go to step number two and first we design pd controller now if you remember for pd controller we assume that our pd controller look like kc s plus z pd okay now if we have the dynamics there and apply the angle formula at minus phi 1 minus phi 2 plus phi of z um, pd equal to minus 180 degree now from here uh, we can easily calculate uh, phi of z pd must be equal to minus 180 degree plus phi 1 plus phi 2 so phi of z pd is equal to uh, 
83 degree okay now when we calculate 83 degree so we just wrote the formula for zpd so if you remember in what we have we have a point here 8 and we call it at this is zpd okay so we have to calculate this fire zpd this point is 8 the site is 6 so we just use the formula and when we do that uh, we know that phi of zpd is equal to tan inverse of um, 6 divided by zpd let me see it after solving this zpd we calculated is equal to 8.73 so this is the value we calculated okay now from here g of pd of s becomes kc s plus 8.73 now we use the magnitude criteria to find uh, kc so for that case magnitude criteria tell us that we have to use again uh, one uh, one plus k pdfs gp s equal to zero to stick equation and take the magnitude so from here uh, we can write that it is one plus kc s plus 8.73 whole divided by s plus 1 and s plus 4 must be equal to 0 so we apply the magnitude on that so um, before applying we just rewrite it that kc is equal to minus s plus 1 s plus 4 whole divided by s plus uh, 8.73 this is the idea okay. now apply the gain so we have to apply the gain for design point of view so kc at s equal to p is become minus plus 1 then we have p plus 4 then we have uh, P plus 8.73 okay take the magnitude so just plug in the values of P that is after plugging the value of P it become minus it become minus 7 plus 6 J uh, you remember what is the value of P? P was minus 8 plus 16 okay I just plug this value here so it become after manipulation it become minus 4 plus 60 and then 0.73 plus 60 so I just uh, solve it with the, with this, these uh, parameters for real part so it becomes this now after solving what I get I get the values alone so from here we are able to design the PD control that is 11 S plus 8.73 now we will move to the next part and to design the PI control so this is step number 3 so we know that PI control actually will improve the type of the system and we say that G of PI of S is equal to S plus you have Z PI all divided by S so uh, if we assume we say we need to put uh, z near uh, origin so we assume that z p i assume that is 0.5 so from here uh, g p i of s becomes s plus 0.5 divided by s now the p p i d is actually whole design is GCFS is equal to GPDS times GPIS. So just multiply the both. What we get? We get the 11 
s plus 8.73 that is pd times s plus 0.5 divided by s so this is the pid controller that we can design using road locus techniques i will stop here thank you